I now have the privilege of delivering the commencement address. This is your cue to take out and fire up your fidget spinners. Will the members of the distinguished platform party please put away your fidget spinners and listen to the president's address? Thank you. Thank you. Class of 2017, for you and your friends, this weekend is a time of pride and a time of reliving the crazy great experiences that you've shared together and a time of sadness as you leave your friends and head to new places and new directions. Traditionally, at commencement, we celebrate the achievement of those who have fulfilled all the requirements for a degree from this great university. However, this morning, I want to also celebrate something else, something just as important and enduring. Class of 2017, as you depart this campus, I'd like you to reflect on the unfathomable value of friendship in the sometimes unfriendly world in which we live. I want to celebrate the friends that you've come to love at UF and those friendships you don't yet realize will change your life. The novelist Jamaica Kincaid wrote that friendship is a simple thing and yet complicated. Friendship is on the surface something natural something taken for granted, and yet underneath, one can find worlds. My own friendships have often begun shortly after I've met someone new, with an emotional connection that feels like a, a shiver of recognition. Friendship is different from other human relationships. It's entirely voluntary. Since no one can require you to be a friend, true friendship is reciprocal. A good friend can cheer you up, can cheer you on or help you out. But friends are not in our lives for some utilitarian purpose. Friendship is not about gaining advantage. Ultimately, you understand your friends and, and they understand you. This is a small human miracle, this feeling that you have someone who gets you and you, someone who you get. Naturally, without effort and without artifice. Now, I feel fortunate to have some such friends in my own life. Previous to becoming UF's president, I served at Cornell University in New York, where I started as Dean of Engineering. Shortly after arriving, I met another dean, Glenn Altshuler. Glenn grew up in Brooklyn in a Jewish family. My parents were Methodist, and I was born in rural Oklahoma. Glenn is a humanities scholar. I'm an engineer. Nevertheless, it wasn't long before, to paraphrase a great song by the White Stripes, I could tell that we were going to be friends. Glenn and I started getting together for 7 a.m. coffee and muffins. And I, I thought he was a little weird because he only ate the top half of his muffins. But our breakfast quickly started to outshine the morning sun in the light that they brought to my day. I was new to Cornell and new to being a dean, and I realized that I had found in Glenn someone who listened to me, thought carefully about my words, and he cared about what I felt. In turn, I wanted to listen to Glenn. I wanted to hear his opinions and learn about the experiences that, that shaped the, them. After being with Glenn, I am made better. As the writer Joseph Epstein said, friends provide amusement, information, and a bracing, beautiful feeling of human connection. Now, Glenn was here on UF's campus this year to give two talks. And in the evening, after his talks, we went to UF basketball game here in Exact Tech Arena. The score was Kentucky 66, Florida Gators 88. As the French philosopher Montaigne wrote of his friend, in his famous essay on friendship, quote, I should certainly have trusted myself to him more readily to my, than to myself. True friendship allows us to get outside of ourselves, to enter into the experience, the aspirations, 
the anxieties, the joys, or even the grief of someone else. This makes us, in turn, more compassionate and ultimately more understanding, improving all of us and even our society. Class of 2017, I know that many of you have made close friends here at UF. A week ago, I tweeted a request for students and alumni to share photos and, star and stories of their hashtag UFBFFs. I got many, many wonderful re replies. We're going to share all of them at the ceremony during the recessional, but let me show you just a few right now. Class of 2017 summer graduate Alex Shepard sent this snapshot of his UF friends in New York City. Congratulations to Jordan Taylor's friend, also who's graduating here today. Now this one comes from VJ. He's a UF faculty member, and he met his wife and best friend while they were students here at UF. Here are two more Gator friends from years ago. I wonder where she got that Florida cowboy hat. I gotta get one. Here are two Gators who were best friends in high school. And here are four best friends. Uh, which two are graduating, do you think, today? Pam Harrison shared this wedding photo from 1988. I think Albert looks amazing in a tuxedo. And finally, congratulations to Madeline and Ryan Chase and their family. Madeline is earning her master's degree in today's ceremony right now, but she couldn't be here because she gave birth to her daughter yesterday. Claire. Haley Chase, the newest skater in the Chase family. Born 1047 AM yesterday, 20.5 inches long and weighs seven pounds, 12 ounces. Graduates, there's something I want you to know about your University of Florida friendships. Even though you may be leaving your friends, those friendships will only gather force as they continue to unfold. As much as your friends have already benefited you, they will have an even more pronounced impact in the future. Now I say that based on my own experience, based on my experience from friends from college 40 years ago. One of my friends was my freshman roommate, Mark Murray. Now Mark convinced me after my first year to switch my major from physics to engineering because he was having a lot more fun as an engineer. And then the next year, he switched to music. <laughs> I continued with engineering in college and then later in graduate school. And my friendship with Mark led to a career as an electrical engineer and then a faculty member. John Hammett was another one of my sweet mates freshman year. And we also became friends. John attended a local church. And at his encouragement, I went with him on occasion when we were freshmen and more in the subsequent years. And I was so influenced by the teaching of the pastor of that church and by my sweet mate that I decided after graduation that I was going to set aside engineering. And I went and attended seminary, graduate school in divinity for three years. Although I didn't become a minister or a pastor, my three years of theological studies and pastoral training have benefited me personally and also helped me in my career as a faculty member and a university administrator. And those years in Divinity School led to more friends, especially Linda, my wife and my very best friend of 36 years. <laughs> ah, thanks for being here, Linda. <laughs> Without my college friends, Mark and John, I wouldn't have become an engineer, a professor, a university leader, or met Linda. And without my friends, I wouldn't be me. Of course, I could not have known this at my college commencement 40 years ago. As you prepare to leave your friends, there is a part of your experience that is different from my own and a part that is the same as my own. What's different is that never before in human history have close friends been more likely to be separated by great distance or had the opportunity to stay in touch with each other despite that distance, thanks to texting, Snapchat, and even your Finstas. 
What's the same, as my experience, is that even if your meetings or connections with college friends become infrequent, their influence on your life is going to continue in the decades ahead. And you will realize how much your life was changed by those you met here at UF. Whether you have dozens of friends or whether you have only a few, there is a powerful bond that connects all graduates of the University of Florida. Over the decades, you will realize that this university has been one of the most powerful influences in your lives. Each of you will learn that you have a profound relationship with UF and that your life has been changed by, for the better by your University of Florida experience and by the professors you've had and by the staff you've met and by your fellow students and maybe even by your university president. You are a member of the Gator family. Indeed, as one of our alumni said recently, when you call on a fellow Gator, it is never a cold call. Please stay in touch, not only with your close friends, but with your professors, members of the staff, and with other Gators. I'd love to hear from you. My personal email is kent.fox at ufl.edu. I very much look forward to seeing you back here on campus as often as possible. And wherever you are, I urge you to heed Ian e. Forrester's famous epigraph to his novel, Howard's End, Only Connect. From shaping who you become, as Mark Murray and John Hammett shape me, to listening closely to each other and sharing your honest opinions and your experiences and encouragement, as Glenn Altshuler and I still do, and most importantly, simply being there for each other, you are graduates not only of the University of Florida, but of the University of Friends. I close with an old Irish blessing. And this blessing expresses my personal affection for each one of you. May the sun shine gently on your face, and may the rain fall soft upon your fields. May the wind be at your back, and may the road rise to meet you. And may the Lord hold you in the hollow of his hand until we meet again. To you and the 2,700 other students who are earning their UF diplomas today, Congratulations, it's great to be a Florida Gator and a great to be a Florida friend.